G'day everyone, Little Aussie Collector, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got a new video for you. It is a, another Star Wars piece here. It's the quarter scale Darth Vader on throne. So let's dive in and have a look and uh, see what you're getting. So this piece was uh, revealed about 12 months ago, maybe a little longer. And the Iron Studios, they're called their legacy uh, quarter scale format. And as soon as this um, came up as a sort of a pre-release, I was very tempted with it, but I was sort of just a little bit hesitant as, well, was I gonna continue with the uh, Star Wars theme or was I gonna sort of not continue with any quarter scales or anything like that? But having Vader on throne ended up being a no-brainer for me. So he arrived yesterday in the collection. So I've just set him up. Um, I'm not sure whether I'm gonna keep him in this position here or if we're gonna move him, but um, I thought that I'll do the review here because we can sort of compare a little bit uh, with the Vader from uh, this one here is from XM Studios and obviously the sideshow, the very old sideshow bust there. But we're here to have a look at the quarter scale on Throne. So let's dive in and have a look um, and see what you're getting. So we're going to kick off here with the Throne itself. So... A few people have commented on, is it really uh, 81 centimetres? Because on the websites, on my retailer website here in Australia, on the Iron Studios website, uh, on the Sideshow website, it all says that it's 81 centimetres in width. And I'm here to tell you that it is not. It is nowhere near the 81 centimetres. And being a quarter scale piece, nor should it be. So... When those dimensions came out, I was very skeptical. I was thinking perhaps it might have been 60 centimetres wide, maybe. But 81 centimetres, that is insanely wide. So uh, when it came in uh, and I got it out of the box, instantly I knew that it was much smaller than that. So I did measure and it is 48 and a half centimetres. So maybe a lot of collectors held off buying the piece, perhaps because they thought, hey, 81 centimetres, that is far too deep. Uh, sorry, far too wide. And I agree, 81 centimetres is very, very wide. But knowing it's only 48, that should give a lot of collectors that have either pre-ordered this uh, or are waiting it, or if they are sort of on the fence, this should give them a little bit more confidence that it will fit in a lot more displays than what you would have originally thought at being 81. So we've got that off the bat now. But that needed to be said because that's a it's a big discrepancy there, 81 versus 48. All right, so the base itself or the throne here is very nice. It um, has got some nice patterning work to it. You do get the lightsaber there, which is sort of like an add-on addition. And I have just placed him here. Here is a free piece where you can place him in any spot you wish. Um, coming down, it is a polystone statue with a mixed media cape very simple to put together another look there at the throne on the side here very nice indeed the paintwork is quite well done and looking nice now the piece does come with uh, two switch outs it comes out with the switch out helmet which I'll show you in a minute and it also comes out with the chest uh, a swap out as well now it does light up um, I haven't got the light up on I don't think it'll uh, show you too much in the daylight here it's a very sunny day here but the chest does light up very good so let's go down and uh, we'll start maybe down the boots and then we'll work our way up through the statue himself so I know that there's not a lot of uh, video footage of the piece on YouTube yet, so perhaps a lot of collectors are wanting to see this, so I'll try not to talk too much and just give you some nice views here. So fully sculpted, obviously, the boots are nice. Uh, it's quite a shiny piece, I would, I would say, um, and it's, it's quite dark, like it's very black. So compared to the uh, XM Studios, which is a very matte type finish, uh, it's a very dark type statue here. But the sculpting there of the pants, very well done. 
definitely looks like it has got some creases in the leather. So very nice indeed. So from there, we come up into the midsection there. And we'll actually we'll get his gloves in there while we've got them. So he's uh, sculpted gloves. So the hands, also the arms are separate pieces. They just key in via magnet. Very simple process there, putting them in. Looking good. Now he sits free in, he doesn't have a keyhole or anything in the actual throne itself. So he just sits in free. So you can move him around a little bit. So you can push him back further. You can sit him forward a little bit more. Um, it just really comes down to where you would like to situate him. Looking good there. So up towards the portrait. So the cape just clips on there. We can see with the little attachment there. It's quite a simple process. And then the helmet. So like I said, this does come with the two portraits. So we'll have a look at that second one. I haven't got it on. I'll, I'll just throw it in my hand and, and show you. And it comes with the battle damage version here as well, which I'll also show you. So in scale here, it is about 50 centimetres by 50 centimetres, give or take. So it is a, a nice looking quarter scale. There we can see there. So that's um, the Darth Vader. Uh, so that's the Darth Maul sideshow bus next to it. And the uh, XM Studios, which is also quarter. So I'll just grab the other portrait in, in my hand here and I can show you. And the other portrait's quite nice actually, so... Okay, so here we go here. Yeah, looking good. So the battle damage here on the top of the helmet is really nice. A lot of damage in there and some great detail work. So I'm quite fond of this uh, helmeted version as well. So I think I'll sort of switch and swap um, every few days or every few weeks. But a lot of damage there, which is really nice. So I would have liked a little uh, headstand, perhaps, to put that, which would have been nice, um, but obviously we didn't get one. But the um, chest also comes here. So you've got this version, and you've also got the damaged version as well, which we'll show you here. So this is the damaged version. So this is quite well done as well. So obviously if you're switching out the portrait, you'd switch out this as well. So that is looking good. So the details there are quite nice with the lightsaber um, cutting through. But yeah, there we have it, guys. So the quarter scale Darth Vader on throne. Remember, it's not as big as advertised. It's not the 81 centimetres. So I know that it was a big factor for me, whether I get it, whether I don't get it. But um, yeah, excellent, mate, excellent. So this, uh, this piece here, is in Australian retailer now. Uh, I know that on the Sideshow website, it's definitely waitlisted. And uh, also to note, a, a side note here is a lot of the Iron Studios pieces are not numbered. This one is numbered. So this is um, out of a 450 edition size. So 450 edition size in total. I'm not sure if everyone knows that yet. Um, and this was like, I think 115 or 113 or something. So uh, definitely a, a low ES with it. And I'm sure that seeing that Sideshow got them on wait lists already, um, these will disappear and uh, they'll be long gone. So I do think this will be a, an aftermarket uh, piece that people will pick up once a few reviews come out and um, they realise that it's not uh, as massive a throne as what people were originally thinking. But it's a big thumbs up from me. I'm very happy with the piece itself. Um, I think it's priced reasonably well. You do, uh, you do get a big throne, which is good. So, um, yeah, thumbs up there from Iron Studios. I'm sort of contemplating whether I get the one quarter Darth Maul. Um, I'm sort of, do I get it? Do I not get it? I'm not too sure. I did see the uh, Anakin get revealed at SD23, and uh, that looked quite nice. I was a little bit uh, mystified about the base to that, but as a piece overall, it looked pretty good. But uh, Vader in the house, uh, looking good. So, um Shout out here, give us a thumbs up for the uh, for the video if you liked the video. I know that uh, a lot of people will be waiting to see one of these type of reviews for this piece. And um, throw some comments in there, you know I always get back to you on the comments. But until you see the next piece, 
Uh, stay safe, everyone, and uh, have a great day.